the Neurocast from Truth Sayers. Simon Stapleton talks with Jeff Fox from Aeon about agile tools and resilience. As we've discovered the last few weeks, we're able to use the platform in different ways quite quickly. We're able to innovate on new kind of assessments and new products uh, almost, you know, within days after we've conceived uh, an idea and identified a problem. How is the agility of the Neurotech platform helping Aon with the product development and innovation? When I think back to this journey, it started within the employee experience domain, as broad as that is, Mm. uh, precisely because it was vague. And this tool helped give us a line of sight to how you can measure employee experience. And I guess our vision was that's where we'd spend a lot of our time focused on that. But very rapidly, as clients have developed needs and come to us with problem domains that they need help with, we've been able to point the neurotech solution to a whole host of different problems. And what we love about neurotech is just that, because we love helping our clients solve problems. Uh, it's, it's, it's what we're about. And so mm-hmm. in that time, since we started the employee experience journey, we probably now have four or five products that have spiraled out. So we've got one that focuses on total reward. We have one that focuses on future of work. We are now looking at one that uh, can help us with the whole topic of ESG, uh, which is obviously a very topical conversation, the whole issue of how organizations can help understand their purpose, which is just you know yeah. terrifically resonant with, with clients. And so in a very short space of time, We've heard these problem statements from clients. You know, how can we help uh, understand how our employees feel about these, these issues? We've taken the neurotech and we've pointed it towards the problems and we've developed products that have then been deployable, in some cases within days, within, within weeks, from conception through to deployment and rolled it out for our clients and then really sort of got below that surface line again on that particular problem. So it's yeah. just hugely agile. And that's what clients demand at the moment. They need agile solutions because the world is changing so quickly as we've experienced through the last sort of year or so. What was a a client issue before the pandemic? Now there's a whole multitude of new issues to to face and just agile solutions. And Eurotech is really good for that. Well, particularly when it comes to resilience and right now identifying burnout, um, there's a lot in the press about uh, a whole bow wave of, of issues hitting organizations really to do with um, a burnout and um, you know the exhaustion coming from working from home and isolation for such a long time. Where do you see neurotech and implicit methods making a difference? So I think we're in a different world now. We're in a place where concepts like hybrid working models will become the norm. People will work from home. When you're looking at me here, the room I'm sat in is a room I've spent the last 18 months in. And, you know, it's difficult for employers to know how people in those circumstances are feeling because they're no longer in the office. They're no longer on client sites as much. There's that lack of line of sight. And so the world that we're in now and, and the whole topic of resilience is how to prosper in a world that is more difficult. Um, where the employer doesn't have that line of sight. So the crucial part about the neurotech tool here for me is it gives a way to help really find out how employees are in this new world and how when we look at hybrid working and think about concepts of resilience, really understand what that means and then do things which can really help the employee in a meaningful way. I think that's the crucial difference, not just sort of token gestures. It's about doing things that can really help the employee become more resilient Mm. in a a world that a lot for a lot of us is new. Um, I had no expectation to spend as much time in this room as I have spent. Uh, I've been productive, but it brings with it a whole host of new challenges. Uh, And I think for many employers, they haven't got a rule book on what that looks like to help employees become resilient in that place. So, you know, I think it's hugely topical, hugely relevant to, 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 to the issues that we face right now. 